Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can screen record your Mac operating system. So I'm going to show you two ways in which you can record the screen of your Mac operating system and both the option will be completely free. So let me start with the first option. The first option is really simple and it's an inbuilt app in your Mac operating system which you can use to uh, just screen record your Mac operating system. And that app is called a uh, QuickTime app. So for that, what you need to do is you just need to click on this spotlight search uh, icon. And here you need to search for the QuickTime app. So just write QuickTime player and you will be able to see uh, this QuickTime player icon. So just click on this QuickTime player icon which is going to open this QuickTime player here at the bottom. So you can see this QuickTime app is now open. So in order to screen record your Mac operating system, the process is really simple. You just need to press control and then click on this icon. So press control and then click on this icon, which is going to open this kind of menu. So from here, you just need to click on new screen recording. So I'm going to just click on new screen recording, which is going to open this kind of window. Now here you don't have many options, but if you want to choose your audio input, you can click on this little arrow here. So I'm going to just click on this little arrow and then uh, I can choose uh, if I don't uh, want any microphone or my internal microphone. Right now I'm using an external microphone, which is Samsung Go mic. So I'm just using this mic, which is Samsung Go mic. Also, when you open QuickTime app, you can also click on this option, which says show mouse click in recording. So if you select this option, it will uh, show the mouse click in the uh, recording. Okay, so you can enable this option also. For now, I'm going to just disable this option. And once you are ready, you can just click on this red button, which is going to show you this kind of message. So here it says click to record full screen, drag to record part of the screen and end recording by clicking on the stop button. So as soon as you do that, you can see this uh, uh, icon is created at the top. And when you click anywhere on the screen, it's going to start the recording. So I'm going to click let's say here on my desktop, it's going to start the recording and you can see this recording has been started. So once you are done with the recording, so let me open uh, some uh, browser for example and, uh, and let me just browse for different uh, let's say options here so that it's vis visible in the video. And once you are happy with the recording, just click on this button once again for the QuickTime app, it's going to just show you your recording and you can play your video from here. So let me play my uh, video from here. So you can see it's showing me the browser and uh, whatever I have opened in my screen. And once you are happy with the recording, what you need to do is just click on this cancel button. Don't worry, it's not going to cancel anything. Just click on cancel button and then give the name to your recordings. For example, I want to give the name to my video file as a screen record, and then you can uh, save the file to the chosen location. So for now I have chosen this video folder. You can browse for the folder wherever you want to save this file and then click on save, okay? So once you click on save, your file will be saved at the location where you have saved this file. So as I can see here, I will go to my uh, videos folder and I can see this file is saved as the screen record dot uh, mov file, right? The spelling of record is wrong, but uh, whatever, okay? So from here also, you can open this uh, video anytime. If you want to edit your video, you can open this video in the iMovie app. iMovie app is an app which you can use to uh, edit your videos. So just click on iMovie app and then you can edit your video 
inside uh, this iMovie app which is essentially a free video editor which is an inbuilt uh, video editor also for your Mac operating system. So this is the first way of recording your screen. Let me show you the second way. So for the second way, we are going to install an external app which is called OBS, which is a free tool. You can see right now I'm also recording my video using this OBS Studio app and it's uh, recording right now for me. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for OBS Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from obsproject.com forward slash download. So I'm going to click on this link. And once this website is open, you will be able to see uh, the downloads for different operating system for Windows operating system, for Mac operating system, and for Linux operating system. So we are going to download the downloadable file for the Mac operating system. So I'm going to click on the Apple icon here then I'm going to scroll down a little and you will be able to see this button which says download installer so I'm going to just click on the download installer button which is going to start the download of this PKG file so I will wait for the download to complete because this file is about 109 megabyte which will take some time to download on my operating system so now as you can see this file is downloaded on my system so I'm going to click on this file you can also click on this file by going to the downloads section also so I'm going to double click on this file and I'm going to minimize the browser and in few seconds you will be able to see this installer window where first of all you will see the introduction about OBS studio installer we are just going to say continue and then it's going to show you the destination where this OBS studio will be installed. So I will leave it as default and I will click on continue. On this next window, you will be able to see the installation type. I will leave it as default and it's going to say this much amount of space is required on your computer for the OBS studio. I'm going to just leave everything as default and I'm going to just click on the install button here. Then we just need to give our max password. So I'm going to provide my max password and then click on install software, which is going to start the installation. So I will wait for the installation to complete. And in few seconds, you will be able to see this message which says uh, the installation was successful. So I'm going to click on close. And also I'm going to just say move to thrash because we don't require this PKG file. Once the installation is complete, we are going to click on this launch pad icon and then go to the location where you see the OBS studio icon. So this is the icon for the OBS studio. So I'm going to click on this icon, which is going to open the OBS studio on our Mac operating system. And first of all, you need to agree with the license terms and conditions. So if you want, you can read those license terms and conditions and then click on OK. And now you can see this OBS Studio is opened on our Mac operating system. So the first question it will ask is, would you like to run the auto configuration wizard? We are going to say yes. And then on the next window, you will be able to see this kind of interface. First option is optimize for streaming. And the second option is optimize just for recording. So I'm going to say optimize just for recording because I just want to use this OBS studio for the recording of my desktop. So I will just uh, choose the second option and click next. And then here I will leave everything as default and then click next. And then I will wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And then you will be able to see uh, this kind of window which says final result. And then I'm going to just click on apply settings window button and you will be able to see this OBS studio here. So now you can see this OBS studio interface. So for the first time when you see this OBS studio, you will see this blank screen here. So let's say I want to capture my uh, desktop using OBS studio. So let me show you how you can do that. So first of all, you need to click on this plus button under the source section here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and then to capture your desktop, 
you just need to click on this button which says display capture and then you can name this uh, capture anything whatever you want so I'm going to leave everything as default and then I'm going to click OK and once I click OK you will be able to see uh, this kind of window where you will be able to see some settings so first setting here is the display setting second is the show cursor and third is the crop option so for my first screen record I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm going to click OK and once you click OK you will be able to see display capture option here which is the first option and you will be able to change the settings of this display capture using this settings icon here under the sources so I'm going to just click on the settings option once again and you can uh, once again uh, decide the display and the show cursor option and also the crop option so once again I'm going to click OK and now in order to start the recording I'm going to just click on uh, this option under controls there is an option called start recording so I'm going to click on the start recording option which is going to start the recording of my desktop so let me just minimize this OBS studio and let me once again open the browser and on this OBS uh, website let's go to the home page so we will be able to see the changes recorded in our uh, video using OBS studio screen recording so you can see there is option for uh, Windows there is option for Mac OS and there is an option for Linux on the home page here so let me go to the screen recording and now stop this screen recording so I'm going to go to once again to the OBS studio and I'm going to just click on the stop recording button which is going to stop the recording and where this recording will be saved so in order to find out where is the default location where this recording is saved you can click on this option which says settings and then you have the general settings here and in the general settings you can change the language of OBS studio and also the theme of OBS studio so by default it's dark but you can uh, choose the default theme which is this light theme or you can uh, choose other themes which are listed here so I'm going to choose the dark theme once again and then in the next section you will be able to see the output section and here you can uh, see this message which says show confirmation dialog on starting stream show confirmation dialog on stopping stream and automatically record when streaming so I'm going to leave everything as default what I want is I want to go to the output section and here I want to see the default recording output location so under recording you will be able to see this default location where all your recordings will be saved so this is the location which is users and the, your username and then movies so I'm going to click on the browse option which will open this window on this location and on the top you will be able to see uh, this uh, movie file which is saved here with the extension FLV file so the extension for the recording will be .flv file and uh, the name of the file will be the date and the time of the stopping of your recording so you can see once I close this window you can see recording quality is high quality and recording format is FLV you can change this format to mp4 or any other format from here also you can change the name of your uh, saved file using the advanced option and under recording you will be able to see this option which is the date option for the file name so if you want to change the name you can change the format from here there is one more interesting thing which you can do here for recording your uh, screen using OBS studio which is hotkeys so for uh, starting the recording you can uh, choose some hotkeys or for stopping the recording you can choose some hotkeys from here so let's say I want to start the recording using F12 option and I want to stop the recording using escape option so I can uh, just uh, press these buttons and now I will be able to start the recording using F12 and I will be able to stop the recording using the escape button and to save all these uh, settings you can just click on this uh, close button and then just say yes to save all the changes which you have done 
So this is how you can use OBS Studio to screen record your desktop. Also here you can add multiple options for a screen recording or game capture or the image recording. So there are a few options here which you can use to capture either your screen or you can just stream your games which you are playing. So this is how you can screen record your Mac operating system screen totally free of cost using an inbuilt app which is QuickTime and an external app which is also free which is called OBS Studio. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.